Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a fresh podcast. You fuck with Breaking Bad at all? Woo! We just took this part of your fucking next lover. That's oh. SpaceX is going too. What are you doing in the corner? Just smacking my ass together. It scares me so bad I got a boner. I am shocked by this air coming out of my ass. I puke my guts out. Is there a bomb dropping back to Run, guys! I'll hit old man in public. I am your fucking savior. Xavier. The Nerd Shed Podcast. Check, check. Yo, Hello. yo, yo, yo. <laughs> the Nerd Shop Podcast. I'm Matt. I didn't I'm, know if the mic was going to work or not. I'm Justin. My mic works. It does. <laughs> How about that? How about that if you're Canadian, you know? <laughs> hey. This is the Nerd Shop Podcast. This it is, is um, episode 40. Fuck. Ooh. We hit the big 4-0. We are right. old. Just kidding, we're not. That's not even middle age. From here, should we do like the middle age joke and go backwards? Like the next episode will be episode 39 again. Oh, jokes on them. <laughs> like, why are they at episode one again? <laughs> and then it's just done after that. Yep. No. No. Nerdshed for life. 4L. Hashtag. 4. Hashtag? Yeah, hashtag Nerdshed for life. Ooh, I wish it was a hashtag. Like you just take hash browns and tag them with people with it. Hashtag. You ever throw somebody? Like a frisbee. A frisbee hash brown from McDonald's. That'd be a pretty cool game, I think. I think so too. And then if you want to get freaky with it, you can catch it with your mouth and have a snack on the go. What about, so you got the hash browns. What if you had like an omelet tag though? Like, Ooh, cause that, that might get messy because if you, you got, got a little you got like, like that melted, melted cheese. Yeah, there, and then like, you're going to get that lava sauce all over you. Yeah. <laughs> put some, put some, uh, Hot sauce on there, get it in someone's eye. Oh, like, some Cholula. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever the fuck you use. I like Frank's. Frank's red Frank's red hot sauces. Yeah, Frank's is dope, but I don't I don't like condiments or sauces on my eggs. No, I I usually don't put a, if I do put it, it's just like a little bit here and there. Or sometimes I go overboard. Like when people it. put ketchup on their scrambled eggs, like that makes me want to vomit when yeah, I Yeah, I don't do put that. ketchup on it just because that's like super sweet. Like ketchup is Ketchup is a dessert in Africa. Dude, you know what? I saw that mine fucked me. What? <laughs> every time. Every time there's a pause. <laughs> Elton for coming um, in. <laughs> um, Excuse me. So, you know, tomatoes are technically a fruit, right? Yeah, those good old tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> you can say it in so many ways. Taters. Tomatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> different vegetable anyway, now, or it, fruit <laughs> it's a fruit which means that ketchup is technically a smoothie oh but if you drink it you're gonna get stared at really fucking badly <laughs> what are you doing drinking some ketchup and imagine the sucking powers like your head game so strong bro <laughs> like that uh <laughs> like the scene in dumb and dumber where they eat the hot peppers and they take the ketchup and mustard and like <laughs> 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 yeah. Speaking of which, that's back on Netflix. Watched it like two nights ago. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Fun little go-tos if you want to. You have to watch that movie, like, regularly. Always. At least once a year. There's some movies, like, I want to... I was talking to Jess about this yesterday. I want to watch some Deadpool again here soon. Yeah, like, It's just been it's been a long enough time since I've watched it in between, and it gave me so much joy the first time. Why not again? Plus, yeah. I have short-term memory loss, so. Yeah, there's a few things that I have rules like that, like I need to watch them at least once every year. And that's all of Breaking Bad, Fight Club, Boondock Saints, and Donnie Darko. Like, those you all have to do them at least once a year. Those, those are all solid fucking movies. Yeah. I love Fight Club so much. And it's not just because, you know, everybody else loves it. I found out, like... 10 years after everybody found out about it. You're I was right. like, what's this movie? And I was like, oh! Because I'm pretty sure you're the one that like told me to watch it or something. No, you're the one that told me to watch it. Oh, yeah. You're like, I thought the movie was clothes? about soap at first. I was like, I just don't, I don't get cover. it. I don't get, yeah, the cover just threw me off. I was like, do they just sit there and watch themselves the whole movie? I don't want to see that. I thought it was going to be like a... Uh... Just like a like underground a, MMA fucking right, club. exactly. Like I thought it was like a street fighting yeah, movie. Or yeah, something it was like something that. different than what I anticipated, yeah. and I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think that's what made it so much better. Yeah, because when that happened, like <laughs> the mind opened. Yeah, and then my legs closed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It felt right to say. 
It doesn't like, have to necessarily apply to me, but, but whatever. Clerks too should be on that list too. I think like we need to have a tradition that once a year we get yes. together, we grill some burgers and dogs and watch Clerks too. Fuck yeah, dog. <laughs> Devil horns too, and then we make baby uh, baby Jesus statues and then put it in the front yard, but have fire coming out of them. <laughs> that way, people know we like both. Like we're we're not we're not biased like you know Jesus and Satan whatever <laughs> you do you boo us boo technically you can't have one without the other or can you no you can't because Satan is a Christian figure or what if it was Satan first and then like God's like hey I'm gonna take this story real quick and like really realistically hell is the good place and that place is just way too perfect boom what's up could be could be. This is like where all the a, people with the fucked up brains go. <laughs> it's okay. Like almost like the Matrix, like you're living. Kinda, like, yeah. You need to decide which pill you want to take. Do you want to see heaven for what it really is? Or oh, not? see, we're getting into some deep thought right here. <laughs> Have you ever been like lost in your own brain trying to think about this kind of shit? Every day of my life, dude. Dude, always, always, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like your koozie, bro. It's super metal, dude. It's awesome. Man. What kind of koozie is that? Is that? I have no idea. Brewmate or no. off-brand brewmate? Yeah, it doesn't have a brand. It's at-home brand. Oh, I, don't know where that's it was I think it was. Good guess, though. But, yeah, dude, it keeps it cold as shit for hours. I was going to say, like, it has a nice suction. I like how we just get off topic so goddamn easily. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we were talking about this before the show, so we might as well just go into it now. Um... Love never met another. Some some classic cover songs, dude. Fucking like classic. Like we brought up before the show, we were talking about "Hurt," originally by Nine Inch Nails. Nin. Covered by Johnny Cash. Oh, R.I.P. He hurt himself and, today. And I was saying, like, a lot of people are under the misconception that that's a Johnny Cash song. They don't realize that Trent Reznor. Is the one that composed that masterpiece. He is the originator, and you, you could have fooled me at the beginning, unless I known prior to it, I right. would have thought Johnny Cash thing at first. Right? Yeah, me but too. No. To be honest, because I mean, I, I love both of their renditions of it perfectly. Even though Trent Reznor has already like given credit to Johnny Cash, saying that that that's his song. Right. He's like, I might have wrote it, but he, it's his. I wrote it. I wrote it for you, John. <laughs> yeah, but uh, another good one, classic. Back. Along the Watchtower. All Jim along the Watchtower. Yeah, um, Jimi Hendrix covered yes. it originally. Bob Dylan song. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that. Wow, I did not know that yeah. actually. I like that. Did like he give Jimi Hendrix some pops, some props, not pops. No, yeah, gotta he, have my yeah pops, he, bro. He, he gave him a. Coca-Cola after he heard his version, oh, he gave him a pop. Can I have a photo? No, it's pop! <laughs> but you brought up, um, which is pretty popular as of recently, the yeah. uh, Weezer covered Africa by Toto. Yes. I have not heard that, to be honest. It's actually not bad. I mean, I, I don't mind. I've just been like... I got numb to Africa because one of our friends that we hang out with sometimes... Africa? Dude, it's I heard it like so... every weekend. Dude, you need to hear it every day. <laughs> but I do bless the rains down in Africa. I'll go through phases to where I'll listen to a song, and then I'll stop for like two months, and then I'll come back and start listening to it again, so I have my brain. Because when you listen to it until you hate it, it goes downhill. Just like Cool Runnings? Uh, run always, bro! <laughs> That's our Come running on the joke. <gasps> cool Running joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to touch the screen real fast. That's nice. Bounce with me, bounce with me. <laughs> Kenya, Kenya. Kenya! <laughs> Jesus. Send those babies back to Kenya! Yep, there's hey. a lot of, uh, What's up? Good covers. Do you Look. remember when we were really into the Punk Goes Pop album? Okay, now, before everything got all wish-washy, we experienced some all kinds of different covers. Back in the day when you had to go onto YouTube to find, like, decent music. Dude, yeah. We're that talking about 2008 and nine. Yeah, and like, 10, you would 11. specifically go on YouTube and, like, I know we did it a lot, like, you would Google, like, whatever the big pop song was at the time, you would Google that metal cover, and you would usually find some metal band that did sometimes a very good cover of the song, sometimes a very bad cover of the song. <laughs> this was back when Justin Bieber was, like, 13. Yeah. 
<laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it was weird now. Now he looks like a fucking strung out Cynthia doll. Didn't he retire from music? Probably. Didn't he say like I'm he going? retired from life more than likely? He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go sit in this hole for a couple of days. I'll be back. But what anyway, the one that still holds up out of those Punk Ghost Pop covers was still Fly. Oh um, yeah, Devil Wears Prada did it. Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> I can't say my R's if you cannot notice by now. Devil was Plata. Devil was Plata. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little breadcrumbs throughout the episode. Yeah. I'll reference yeah. back to old episodes. Always. So let's just get into it. How about that? Episode 12. 14 minutes in. <clears throat> Look now. Ooh! Oh, yeah. We already talked about that, didn't we? That yep. movie at the very top? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> you, you guys can't see the computer screen. <laughs> so you don't know what we're talking about. Fuck off! But just know we did talk about it. And at this point I already forgot, so it doesn't matter now. <laughs> so um we talked about Come wa- on, come on. Pocket Man. Ooh, Pocket Man. Pocket Man. Pocket Man. He got arrested for playing with himself, but <laughs> Pocket Man. <laughs> Um, anyway, Weird. Rocket Man. Yes. So I did not realize that... How do you say this guy's name? Taron Egerton's. Taron Egerton, okay. Or Egerton. I don't... That's why I asked you. Come on, bitch! I, I don't want to sound like an idiot. <laughs> no, I think it's Taron Egerton. All right, so he... um, He's the dude from... Kingsman. Kingsman. Yes, yes. the li- main character of Kingsman. He's playing Elton John in Rocket Man. I did not realize that he did all the singing for like the movie and soundtrack. I didn't realize that. I want to kind of like so I, hear it. So I want to know: Did this guy like take voice lessons, or is he just a naturally good singer? He's British. They all have like some sort of skill somewhere. They can have the worst British accent and have the best singing voice, like Ozzy Champagne Osborne. Supernova, Oasis. Oh, oh yeah. Like, have you ever seen, like, an interview? Oh, my God, that was a... <laughs> Dude, you stroke me, talk! <laughs> God Holy damn it. Shit. But, yeah, there's an interview with uh, Oasis, and, like, you cannot... Un- it is the deepest fucking English accent. They, they were, like, from Alabama, part of England. Like, that's... Like, hey, well, I'm going on there, get you some of this is good stuff! <laughs> that's Liam Gallagher, that- right? Fuck! What? That's Liam Gallagher, right? Yeah. Okay, not the black kid from... No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> way different. Different Liam Gallagher. He, he is, like, in his 40s now, <laughs> and not African-American. So, we're just gonna Dude, like, clarify when beforehand. That, when I put that together, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he in a band with... in his band with his brother, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's Liam and, uh... Noel. Yeah. Did you just pull that out of your ass? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've heard it one okay, time, yeah. but I have like partially <laughs> photographic memory, okay. so I can see like one little part of a photo and remember it, and that's it. So that was that part. Elton John said when he heard the soundtrack and heard uh, Taron Egerton's vocals, he said, uh, "Where is it?" Well, this is just a humble brag from him. Listen to this. Elton John says, "My songs aren't easy to sing. I know because loads of musicians have told me that they're hard to sing." Oh, <laughs> humble brag. Uh, Elton John, like, he makes good music, but I don't think his songs are hard to sing. Uh, depends on what kind of song. Because, hold me closer, Tony Danza. Tony Danza? Yeah, I mean, that one's it, but still, like... Yeah, it, it's not know. super... It's not like he has, like, ridiculous lyrics and stuff. And if you're able to, like, train enough, you could probably get yeah. close to it. But you also have to have, like, some kind of singing abilities Does, right. doesn't have to be magical on earth where his thing is he's, he's playing the piano while belting these out which True. is which is still pretty goddamn impressive to me yeah i can't play and sing so no i but, can't uh, even play but elton john said that um egerton's work blew his mind what he's done is quite extraordinary because he sounds like me but he also sounds like taron and that's down to uh, whoever, Giles. Yeah, Giles Martin, the producer, I guess, giving him confidence in the studio. Well, so. Hey, you know what I say about that? Shit's fire. Bigs ups from the shed. 
Yeah, I want to go see this, so I think it's going to be pretty good. I know. I, I love the uh, different take on it. Yeah. I don't know if we spoke about it beforehand, but... I heard somewhere that there's a gay sex scene, though. What? Yeah. <laughs> and that they were originally going to cut it out, but they're like, it's really important to the story, so we need to keep it in there. Different. Same, same, but different. It's going to be like a <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody tour in one of those foreign countries. They oh yeah, like probably take like, all the g- they had to take all the gay stuff out, so the movie was like forty minutes. <laughs> like, congrats! You just paid uh, thirty eight dollars to go see a half an hour movie. It's a short yeah. show. You should have just stayed at home and watched TV. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, oh, con Jesus Christ! So uh, Kanye West. You know, because uh, there's there's he's no easy way to smooth transition from Elton no, John to Kanye West. There's not. They're, they both sing. That's it. <laughs> oh, what is oh. up with his head? You know, he's got some pink and some blonde in his hair, you know. You do you, boo-boo. Yeah. He's going to be the next Dennis Rodman, I think. Oh, D-Rod. <laughs> I'll give you um, D-Rod. <laughs> yeah, so Kanye West Venus tells jokes. David Letterman that Ooh. liberals bully people who are Trump supporters. Wouldn't it go both ways, though? I feel like I've looked at all these fucking arguments yeah. on Facebook at all the fucking time because yeah. that's all there is anymore. Yeah, he, well, um, have you ever watched this on Netflix? The My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman? I have not seen this. No. It's pretty good. I watched the Howard Stern one just because I really like Howard Stern. Yeah. He's an interesting guy. They just, He but, just gets really big name fucking people to come on to his yeah. show. Who's who's that one with? This one's with Kanye. This is the brand new oh, one. Oh, okay. Um... But yeah, he like did one copy, with right? we can't show um, you. <laughs> Barack Obama. Oh, be rock, bro. And then, uh, I don't know, those are the two big ones I remember. Are Howard Stern and Barack Obama. That's still pretty fucking substantial. I'm pretty sure, like George Clooney, maybe. Nice, so there. he's just um, like getting like A and B listers up there. Yeah. I want to see scientists. Yeah, so this is going to be um, on Netflix on May 31st, so next weekend. Ooh. I'll um, give it a gander at that mountain. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but, um, Your computer puked at us. Yeah, apparently they discussed the Me Too movement and Donald Trump. Hashtag. Which, I mean, how do you not talk about that nowadays? Yeah. There's, it looks like in this article there's not much other information. Yeah, so they, probably can't, this, they probably don't want to put too much that we actually yeah. watch the show. Yeah, this is just a clickbait article, I think. Oh, but that's all ice cream, so that makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> a dollar but ice yeah, cream. Yeah, like you yeah. said, it goes both ways, because like... Aren't Trump supporters the one that call liberal snowflakes constantly? Like, that's their it's go-to just, thing. Like, every time on Facebook I see something to where someone's like, oh, Donald Trump is horrible. Like, yeah. that's the go-to is, shut up, snowflake. I just fucking... Everything is just getting so overcumbered by people just bitching about every single fucking thing. And I can't take it anymore. I hate looking at Facebook just because I can't stand all this shit. Right. Like, why the fuck do other people care about what other people do? I don't give a fuck. Why should anybody else? <laughs> like, this gay couple over in California is not going to affect me. Ever. Not even once. Unless one of them's a mass murderer and tries nope. to kill me. That's the, that's the only way. Okay? Nope. If that lady would have baked that gay couple a cake, it would have been terrible. Yeah, because they have different taste buds. They have gay taste buds, so way different. <laughs> Your cake won't be appreciated by them. <sighs> gay people taste buds. <laughs> Those taste fucking exquisite. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, um, oh. So do you hear about this? No. Okay. So I didn't know this, but you know the song? Um. Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. Yes. Cause it's a bittersweet. Yeah. Symphony. Yeah. yeah, and it has like the very <laughs> famous orchestra thing mm-hmm. that everybody loves. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that that was sampled from the Rolling Stones, the mm-hmm. orchestra part. Really? Yeah. What song was it in? It was in The Last Time. Okay, that's because nobody really knows what it is. Yeah. 
Cause it's like, the last time. I feel like the Rolling Stones are one of those bands like everybody knows, like the Stones, but like they can only name like one two song. songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost him, paint it black. Oh yeah, paint it black. Man. Yeah, and then um, can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no. And give me shelter. Mm-hmm. Like those are like their three big ones. Yeah. And there's a few other. See, I've like, never been like a uh, diehard Rolling Stones fan. I'll, I'll just listen to it if it's on sometimes. That's about yeah. it. I've never, like, s- I'll paint it black. I like that song. I don't think the lyrics some... creep me out. Like, I feel dirty yeah. when listening to it. Same like... Z's. Like, I was, like, listening to it one day, and I was like, eh, could be weird words. Well, because he says something about, I see the little girls yeah. in their summer clothes. I need to hide until my darkness goes. Yeah. Like, are you talking about like wanting to rape a girl? Like, like I didn't know about the, that part. Was the only part that really like threw me off. Everything else besides that, okay. You get to the red door, whatever. Paint it black. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to talk about it, not do it. Whatever. But yeah, what, like as you were saying, okay, fresh was. But yeah, was that it? Isn't he an ugly motherfucker? By he the way? is. He is a goddamn skeleton that just has skin. <laughs> um... So yeah, the verse sampled that do, 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 thing from the do, Rolling do, Stones, do, 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 and do. the only way that the Rolling Stones would permit them to use that in the song is if they got all the royalties from the song. Really? Yeah, so um, I guess the Verve never has made any money off of this song. Wow, and that's their album. most popular song. Yeah. From Can 1997, they... dude. God damn! Yeah. Um... But now, as of last week, they will start getting royalties for the song. Oh, well, a little bit too late. I mean, actually, you know what? 90s music is coming back for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it's never been dead or anything like that, because, I mean, me and you and pretty much everybody in our generation will throw back to when they grew up and listen to that song. Yeah. Throw back to the, all that fucking late 90s, early 2000s, you know? Yeah. It's a good time for music. It was a great time. I miss it. It was the best of times. But It was the worst of times. You know, the song, like, no, I don't. If they, like, use it in a movie or something, like, that would be good for him. Or, you know, Spotify. I know that song's on a ton of playlists. Yeah. So. It is, like, every single fucking 90s alternative playlist, you're going to hear this song. You're sitting in fucking Harry Buffalo. Guess what? It's going to come on the radio. True story actually happened. You were at the buff and they played it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Me and Jess. Dude, I haven't been to Harry Buffalo in a Me long time. Me either. It, I think the last time I went was when we listened to the song there. Which was like five years ago. <laughs> five to six. We're not. No. Five. That's me more five. Ow! <laughs> Fucking wow. I, not only did I boop the microphone, I whacked the fuck out of it. Because if you're going to fuck up, do it right. Bobby Light Gun, do you right? Oh, Bobby Light I'm going to fuck you right. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I have a bruised toenail or fingernail. Oh, <laughs> shocking. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> um, Honestly, I don't know. You guys are going to yeah. get a short-ass episode today because I'm going to sweat on you. You sweating already? Dude, I'm popping a molly. I'm always sweating. <laughs> oh, I want to Kobe this bitch, but I don't want to like squirt juices everywhere in a cyclone of Is beer. Is it empty? Yeah. You want to try and shoot it? Yeah! Right, hold on. It's so full. Oh, bro, you didn't have to do all that nonsense for me. Uh, if I make it... I think, like, if we do this right, it can get onto my camera. <laughs> I made it into the big garbage can next to it. There's a big-ass spider over here. Sick! Oh, we forgot to do spider trucks beforehand, bro. Yeah, well, he dead now. You know what? They get to see our everyday kind of movement. Yeah. Which is this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my ankle. Ankle is catch. <laughs> um, He's got no toes. <laughs> Just no. Lonely Island. Oh. Did you see they have a thing on Netflix? They released like a visual album or whatever <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> you know what? I want to check it out just because. Why are they trying to make a comeback? Like, you know. Like they're going I give them Twitter, props they for trying. Thing, like, like they're all getting but, in their. They're getting older. They're not getting old, but. Does Andy Samberg need the money though? It's like Brooklyn he... Nine Nine still fucking popping. Right, that's what I was just about to say. Like, doesn't he still have that show? Yeah, and I think he's gonna be in like a couple. Yeah, 
he's he's getting back up there again. Like he went through his phase when uh, that's my boy came out. I think yeah, that I was when kind of Lonely Island was super popular. Oh, uh, that was like what 2012 or 13 or something like that. Yeah, right. That was then. a pretty good movie, and I think that kind of launched him more into like movies and TV oh. and shit. They had that other movie on Netflix, though, didn't they? Um, like Pop Star or something like that. Yeah, well. where he was like a fucking superstar. Pop star. <laughs> Pop star. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got me good this time, fucker. Um, who are the other two guys on Lone Island? What are they from? Are they from Saturday Night Live, too? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Because I don't know who they are. It not, uh, Couldn't tell you their names. Or actually, they them. might have been... Was the Lonely Island on Saturday Night Live before they actually like did shit? That's what I thought. Because like, I, I thought so. like, Dick in the Box was like originally on Saturday yeah. Night Live. When they, yeah, it was. And Jizz in My Pants was a skit, too. And I just in my pants. Jizz in my pants, just in my pants. Jizz in my pants, just in my pants. Yeah. Last week, I saw a film... <laughs> As I recall, it was a whole off okay, film. You're not going to do the full song right now, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> That's all you get. So. <laughs> How about those apples? Ooh, no. can we... Uh... Oh, wait, there's one more thing about it, but go ahead. Oh. Can we what? No, no, no. I was going to talk about my other thing. No, go ahead. Oh, DP? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have some exciting news about all of... Uh, I guess... <laughs> Uh, but there, there's rumors. It hasn't been confirmed or anything. <laughs> but there's rumors that uh, Deadpool was gonna possibly make some appearance in some appearances in the uh, MCU universe, Marvel comic universe, Marvel movies. He's possibly in Spider Man. No more Avengers because that's over. I still haven't seen a fucking movie. But yeah, there's gonna be all kinds of stuff. I'm so excited. I was gonna make a joke, but what happened, it, DP? It, it, it'll be a spoiler, so I don't want to. It'll be. So. <laughs> Ever yeah, it'll be <laughs> okay. What's up? Yeah, that's all I got. But yeah, keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> Is he gonna be in uh, like a movie with like? I know some people who are no longer gonna be able to make movies because their characters no longer exist. But <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> even though I haven't seen it, yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler alert! So like, will he like be in like a? I don't know if this one, or this is why I'm going to use this as an example. Like, would he be in like a movie with like Captain America? Potentially. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if uh, you ever crossed over with Captain America ever. But I know, there, like, there's been like other places where he'll just pop in and break fourth wall and shit. Like, if they can just throw him off to the side, give him like a 30 second monologue right in the middle of the fucking movie, and that's it. He's just talking about what's going on, just eating some Jimmy Jongos off in the corner or something. Like, <laughs> huh, that's a really good show. Are they going to. Maybe. Wait. Post the question, I'll give you an can, answer. I'm pretty sure that's Sony. Because I know, like, Disney bought Fox, but Sony. So, like, they wouldn't be able to do, like, a full-on, like, new X-Men, would they? So I don't think they have the rights to the X-Men. I don't believe but that's so. What we I'm need. not 100% sure on it, though. We need some, like, follow in the steps of Logan and do some, like, good-ass, like, rated R X-Men movies. Totally. Fuck yeah, like, Logan was, I think, I, Logan was one of the best X-Men, if not the best X-Men that movie I've seen in a long-ass time. Right. Because when you throw in, there's certain characters in comics that you have to make graphic, you have to make fucking disturbing to a tiny degree, and you have to use gore and violence to Like, the X-Men that. movies that, like, they had when we were growing up. Like, I don't know, they're kind of cheesy. They, you know? Yeah, I mean, Patrick Stewart forever will be the fucking perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sure. another good topic we could also talk about. Like, which roles were these characters made for specifically, and who was not good at it? Yeah. Like, Deadpool, fucking Ryan Reynolds, he was literally made for that role. Fucking Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Patrick Stewart as Professor X, bitch. What about the petition for Danny DeVito to be the next Wolverine? <laughs> Did you see that? No. <laughs> Mini Wolf, what up? <laughs> Rum ham. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, there's rumble in my jungle. <laughs> I need food. <laughs> That's how I announce if I'm hungry. But yeah, dude, that would be... 
<laughs> it's always sunny in Wolverine, yeah, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for naming he this just, episode. And then just stabs <laughs> a can of beer. And... <laughs> you ever do line the drugs off your claws? Just... Probably. It's vitamin C, so. <laughs> Hipsters. Cripsters. I don't know what to say to that. Cripsters. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> not supposed to be around here, young blood! What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm 12 people trapped in one body. Help me. <laughs> Jokes. Um, the Sonic movie... <gasps> I've heard bad things. No. <laughs> no, so we did the conspiracy theory thing last week where we said, like, they already have the way, like, Sonic was going to look. Yeah. And it's just all publicity stunt or whatever. I guess not because it's being pushed back to February 2020. Oh, was it supposed to come out this year? Yeah, I think it's supposed to come out in November of this year. Well, hey, if they do it right and put some extra time so into it. It's going to take them three months to. <laughs> My fucking pinky, bro, is so loose today. <laughs> Got a loose pink. <laughs> It's going to take him three months to go through and redo Sonic and the whole movie. But you know what? I think it's honestly going to be worth it. Worth it. Can you worth. put the thing down for the minimum of to It's your primitive. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck did you say? Fun fact. She was saying flip it down, rip it. Yeah, I don't know. You ever just have a brain moment? No. It's one of those. I'm having a morning days. <laughs> And I could sing, ha! Ah! Like Derek? Yeah, I don't have a lot to offer okay. right now. Uh, I am just right. getting warmer and warmer on the inside. Well, it is uh, springtime in Ohio. It's finally starting to warm up. It's supposed to be 85 degrees today. And I'm going to be sitting my big ass in a pool. <laughs> nice. By myself. Um, with my girlfriend. So not by yourself. <gasps> well, I mean... The naked. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally make anything uncomfortable. You ever see like a vegetable sound and make you like Ugh, when somebody said it? See a vegetable sound? See a vegetable sound. Or hear a vegetable sound. You don't see sound. words? No. Okay. What are you talking about like what? someone someone like biting into like a No, no. A broccoli floret and just <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Honestly I have no idea at this point. <laughs> I got lost about 14 words ago. But I am here. What's okay. up? What's up? Yeah, okay. Back to I that. got something to fill time here. Oh, who's Phil? I had a dream. Oh. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Stop popping. Um, Incredible. So this, <laughs> this is a dream from last night. Oh. And I never remember my dreams. So happy. Vivid. You take some shrooms before you went to bed? Just had some hallucinogenic no, things I did happening. not. Oh, good call. <laughs> I did not. No. <laughs> okay. Gesundheit? Bless you. No. Oh, you on. Okay. Little, little baby on. Excuse you. Thank you. <laughs> so I have this okay. shrimp, and I don't know what it means, but... Was it a tiger? And forgive me, I'm like I said, I never remember my dreams. So like, oh, little, explain it. We're gonna analyze little it. bits and pieces. We're gonna like, analyze it for you. I might make up. <laughs> so you're it's not a hundred percent. I'm so trapped. <laughs> okay. So headstrong. I had a dream that Autumn and I went to Walmart. Ooh, good start. And we've talked about this on the show before. I don't like Walmart. We go maybe. Once every two or three months, I would say, just because like sometimes you have to go there. Yeah, you got to get some essentials that yeah they has, or Sam's Club. So oh, we're in Walmart, nice. and we have a cart full of groceries. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we have a cart full of groceries. Ooh. Like we're talking snack. Yes. First of the month, just got our food stamp cart full of groceries. You know, nice. Did you guys get food stamps? No. Okay. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just using... We're saying ask. You know, first of the month, you know, ask. You know, you've been to a grocery store yes, on first yes. of the month, and you see, like, people, like... Dude, we've grocery, been to Aldi. They got two cars on this like, motherfucker. Yeah. It's like, all right, excuse me. <laughs> Her name's Helen. She's so, an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Every week. Um, <laughs> all these nuts. <laughs> so we're going through Walmart with our cart full of shit. And 
That's disgusting. All of a sudden, I can't remember it was either like my wallet was missing or her purse was missing or something like that. Oh. So I think why I might have had this dream, just to backtrack a little bit and then I'll continue. We're, <laughs> we're like Tarantinoing it to where there's just like the stories, stories out of order and you need to figure out what We're going to unchain and... your Django right now. Uh, so, excuse me. No. I heard on the radio a few days ago, someone that used to work at Walmart called into a radio show and they were saying that it's store policy that like an associate isn't allowed to call 911. Like they have to call a manager to call 911. Why? Yeah. It's what if just, somebody is like, you know, yeah, like if if like somebody takes you like, "Oh, sorry, I can't call the police." <laughs> Not a manager. Right, or if like <laughs> someone just like has a heart attack or a stroke or something like up by the cash registers, like they have to like the cashier isn't allowed to call 911. Can y'all call somebody? I think this bitch is dying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not allowed to do that. You'll get fired. Well, fuck that. Walmart's just like a big old fucking North Korea in the <laughs> U.S. We are a, a marketable North Korea. Hold on. I have to burp. Oh, gesundheit. <gasps> I love to say things like that. So That was a good out, bro. Thank you. Well, made it myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been brewing for four years. <laughs> wow. Okay, so back to... Super crazy idea. No, continue. Before we... Uh, yeah. Okay, back to the dream. So he had one. we're pushing our car through the Walmart. One of us notices that either our purse or wallet is missing. So we have to like find the manager of the store and say, like, hey, I think someone like pickpocketed me or stole Autumn's purse out of the cart or something like that. So this then, is very vivid. So then like we're in the the manager takes us to the back of the store. And, like, we're just, like, standing in the back room with our groceries or whatever, and they're figuring out, like, what to do. And then, like, uh, just a regular, like, stock person or something, like, sees us standing back there, and they're like, you're not allowed to be back here. And, like, they're, like, trying to, like, tell us to get out or whatever, and we're like, no, we're waiting for the store manager. And they're like, no, you're not allowed to be back here. And, like, we start arguing with them. <laughs> this went on for four hours. <laughs> yeah, so, like, that's one part of the dream, and then I don't know how we get to the next part. <laughs> you must have, like, skipped a like, couple scenes. Yeah. And cut! So that was one part, and then the next thing I remember is we, we go through the self-checkout, which we've talked about this before. When you have a cart full of groceries, you're not supposed to go through the self-checkout. For some reason, we're going through the self-checkout. Because, you know, fuck interacting with other people. <laughs> and that's why. I don't know why I remember this, but, like, this is the most vivid part, is bought, like, a beef chuck roast. I don't know why. Mm, good old chucky beef. I don't know if we're trying to make like a pot roast in the crock pot or something. That's or... what we had last night for dinner. So no shame in that game. Old people but food. The barcode wouldn't scan. Oh, motherfuckers. So I'm looking around and I see one Walmart person and I'm like, hey, this barcode won't scan. What am I supposed to do? And they're like, I don't know. Good job. You're doing <laughs> great at answering the customer's questions. So then I see... Can I get stuff here? I don't know. I see another Walmart person and I say, hey. Do you know? <laughs> hey, my, my chuck roast isn't scanning. What am I supposed to do? I need my chuck roast. And they say... Give me my roast, bitch. They say, I don't know. That's a horrible so part then, of a dream. <laughs> then I see a third Walmart person and I say, dude, I'm just trying to get my chuck roast on. Can we, can we get this scan? Come on. <laughs> so he's like I don't know what to do so then finally I just yell I'm not stealing this chuck roast it just won't scan so <laughs> I'm taking it I don't know it. what else to do I'm putting it in my cart <laughs> I'm adding two dollars on for guilty pleasures but that's so, it so then we go to leave the store and guess beep, what beep, happens beep, beep, beep. <laughs> sir you didn't pay for your chuck roast it wouldn't scan. What Did you, you chuck that roast at them? So, and then I don't know. I woke up. Oh, so. nice. And that was that's all my dreams. Yeah, I think I had five seconds memory, and that's about it. But I never remember my. Dreams I don't know. Either. Like I never remember my dreams. Like ever. Me either. So I'm trying to figure out what this means. Like, am I supposed to go to Walmart and steal a chuck roast after dinner tonight? Dude, you should do it, and then have a GoPro on at the same time as you do it, because I want to see like a parachute maneuver coming out the front door with like a fucking drone you stand on and out of there. How crazy would that be, bro? Have a drone just waiting for you on top of Walmart. You escape that way and just like hang from it as you're flying. Get one of those wee nunchucks so you can just 
<laughs> fucking go really fast. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all I got, guys. <laughs> I'm losing my shit today. <laughs> You know what my dream could mean, though? Oh. Any ideas? Um, it could be that you have to go to Walmart, dude. I don't you have to commit to go to a felony. You have dude, to. A, a truck roast is like ten bucks. That's not even a misdemeanor, is oh, it? Oh, dude, just break out cash next time. Like, leave it on the thing. Like, hey, I put money there. So, <laughs> I, modern solutions for modern problems. <laughs> Did you see that meme about the hoarders? Yeah. <laughs> Modern solutions. I like Twinkies as well. Ho hos, you know. Did you go dark on your thing? Because it just got really bright. <laughs> I still see me. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> do you want to do like a seven or eight minute lyric analysis? We can. What kind of lyrics were I be analyzing? I don't know. I had a good one a couple weeks ago, but we never got to it because, like, we've just been on a roll with this show, man. We just... Oh, dude, just, a modern roll. A fruit roll. Up. Oh. We just... We talk a lot. We do. Uh, hmm What would be a good thing to do? Hmm... Hey, if you guys have any ideas for stuff that you could do, did we even talk about like going to for them to visit any of our shit this morning? <laughs> Dude, we did not because we no, started, we started talking about uh, we got something. straight into it. <laughs> I don't know, something got brought up and. Well, hey, if you haven't, go check us out at nerdchat.net and on Facebook. <laughs> That's it. Instagram, Twitter. You can go there. You probably won't see much. Just being real. <laughs> All right, nerdchat.net. This is our website. Yeah. Then you got the, the Facebook, Facebook, the Nerd Shed, Instagram, the Nerd Shed. You can email us at the Nerd Shed Podcast at gmail.com. The Nerd Shed Podcast. The I haven't checked it in like a week. <laughs> it's probably not even happening. So, like, it watched, we got like 12 emails. Like, oh, it's just from people telling us this, like, buy their shit. <laughs> like, hey, we'll let you test it out if you uh, buy it. <laughs> But yeah, go there. Um, you can Facebook message us too. Yeah, and if you want to buy stuff, we literally have nothing to buy, so uh, yeah. find somewhere else. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't offer that for you. You offer that for us. We'll buy your stuff. <laughs> yeah. I uh, throw down a five penny bid. Five cents. A nickel. A nipple? A nipple. <laughs> two nips. I cut off two, two nipples to give two to nipples. you. Dude, what if somebody made eye patches for those? <laughs> Little nipple. <laughs> Like an eye patch that looks like a nipple? Yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Something just comes up. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just... That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who needs lyric analysis when you just got random yeah. brain shit? Could they? Could you upgrade to like the Ooh. lactating version? Ooh. Or just constantly dripping? And then <laughs> extra large areola edition. Like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole face it's, it's just when you're getting like a really bad fucking grenade accident just like Bruno Mars described <laughs> I will grab a grenade for you also another song we did on the song analysis a long time ago you know you guys are gonna get a 45 minute episode you spoiled bitches well, let's just do this one really quick just cause I want to Ooh, I it, like it won't take long there's not a lot of words do 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 and it's it's still the number one song in the country, so why not? Oh, why? That's did, literally all the lyrics right there, though, isn't it? At did, the very top. Did you like this? You like this song, in <laughs> dude? You like this? I, I've only lit it, like heard it three times, so. Dude, how? It's everywhere. Because I don't listen to the radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to my playlist on my Google Music. You Music. Don't, you don't rock Spotify. You're rocking Google. Yeah, bro. I mean, I have a Google phone, so it makes sense. All right. Life's good. LG, bitch. So this song needs no introduction. Literally nothing at all. It is Old Town Road Ooh. by Lil Nas X. Nas X? Yeah. Little Sex. But this is the remix with Billy Ray Cyrus, because why not? He should have just changed his name to B-Ray. Way more street cred then. 
He's already there, though. All right, let's blow through this bad Chad. Oh, you didn't play the... We need our Mortal <sighs> Kombat music in the background. Where the fuck is it going? Oh, yeah. My son, have you heard the word of God? No, but the dudes on the Nerd Shed explain song lyrics to me every week. Not every. It used to be every week. Yeah, now it's like every other to once a month. Yes. Whatever. Nobody tells us if it's good or not, so we'll just keep Bro. doing it, because fuck you, that's why. I like to be angered, but not. So, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Hubbard. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus kicks it off by saying that, yeah, I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. going to ride till I can't no more. Uh, what do you think that could mean? I don't know. I'm assuming he's going to get on his horse, ride it. There's a place called Oak Town Road right by him. It's literally like a quarter mile away. I don't know why he had to make a song about it. He got bored one day, just like, okay, <laughs> we're just going to hang out here. So my question is, though, he says, I'm going to ride till I can't no more. Does that mean he's going to ride until his horse dies from exhaustion? Exactly. That PETA! Oh, I got really dark right there, guys. <laughs> I'm back. But yeah, Peter. Okay. <laughs> so then Lil Nas X comes in on the verse and says, I got horses in the back. Horse tack is attached. Hat is matte black. Got the boots that's black to match. Little sidebar, I heard that literally when he wrote this song, he just Googled like cowboy terms. That's how he came up with all these lyrics. <laughs> Jesus. Because <laughs> you know Lil Nas X doesn't know what a horse tack is. I don't know what a horse tack is. I'm assuming it's just for like fucking to put their horseshoes on. They little put little tacks in their foot, but that's about it. No, a horse tack is like... Um, oh, you know? You country, like, bro? Yeah, like your saddle and shit like that. I don't think it's called a saddle. Tack? Well, now you got me questioning myself. Oh. I mean, the only reason I know is from Red Dead, to be honest. Horse tack is attached. <laughs> Horus and Tack. Ooh, what's a what? Now yeah. we're gonna give you some so, info. Tack is equipment or accessories equipped on horses and other domesticated animals. Oh, saddles, like a tackle box. Saddles, stirrups, bridles, halters, reins, bits, harnesses, martingales, and breastplates. Shit. I literally know what none of those are. Okay. So, but I understand at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> same, same, but different every time. All right, back to this. Um, it's not like we have a lot more. It says, riding on a horse, you can whip your Porsche. Okay, well, how can you do that on a horse if you're riding? What? Hold on. This is going to question all kinds of humanity and things right now. No, he, he's saying that he's riding on a horse, but oh. you can whip your Porsche if you want. But okay, jokes on you. Porsche, I can't afford a Porsche. Your Porsche will never be as cool as his. I'm guessing he has, like, an Arabian or a Palomino. <laughs> you're only saying this because that's where you knew where you lived up and grew up by. <laughs> Dude, I know my horses. We're you know your horses because that's all where we lived at was named after. Stallions? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Parkway? <laughs> no? <laughs> Fair. I've been in the valley. You can beat up off that porch now. What? You ain't been up on that. Oh, place. wait, I totally read that wrong. Holy shit. I've been in the valley. You ain't been up off that porch now. I, I don't know what it. I said the first time. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing, but <laughs> either way, I don't know still. No idea what that means. Yeah, can't nobody tell. No mother. Yeah, and then he says, can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Uh, don't tell him anything. <laughs> That's all I get. Sounds like he's not going to listen. No, he's not. Probably not. Right, this is my favorite line in the whole song. Riding on a tractor, lean all in my bladder. <laughs> so he's a cowboy who is riding a horse and a tractor. But yeah, he still has to keep to the mumble rap stereotype and drink lean. Yes. And it's probably not even, it's, it's probably that legal lean. It's just made with CBD, bro. Why couldn't he have changed that to like something more country esque? Like say like beam all up in my bladder. Yeah, more than likely. But maybe this is where he's trying to cross those two generals together. 
Generals? Generals. <laughs> I love that alternative yeah. general, you know? Cheated on my baby, you can go and ask her. Well, that's not something to be proud of, you dick. My life is a movie, bull riding and boobies. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. We'll let it slide now. <laughs> well, what do you do all day? Bull riding and boobies! <laughs> Cowboy hat from Gucci, Wrangler on my booty. Okay. So if he's trying to cross the two genres, like, why is he wearing Wrangler? Like, yeah, why are you getting some gooky cowboy hats? Because that's just too much money on something that's going to get a little dirty after doing that cowboy shit. I don't know. I'm very moist right now. And then he I says, again, can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody hold then me Then Lil Nas X goes back to the main thing about, I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. Of course he is. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. Every time. But then Billy Ray Cyrus comes in for a verse now. Ooh, hopping. And he says, hat down, cross town, living like a rock star. More like a cock star. Spent a lot of money on my brand new guitar. Okay, that's a lot. Baby's got a habit, diamond rings and Fendi sports bras. Whatever the fuck that is. Riding down Rodeo in my Maserati sports car. How do you go from riding your horse down the Old Town Road yeah. to now you're on Rodeo Drive in your Maserati? You can't have it both ways. Then I'm assuming you don't have horses on uh, Rodeo Drive. Yeah. Got no stress. Then, got no stress. I've been through all that. I'm like a Marlboro man, so I kick on back. Did you just tell us what cigarette he likes to smoke? Apparently. Okay. Um, wish I could roll on back to that old town road. I want to ride till I can't no more. That's what happens when you don't have legs. You have to ride till you can't no more. Until you fall off and just stub it on the ground. What's up? See, this is like... Back in high school, like, kids will, like, claim to be all country. Like, they'd have on, like, their... Their cowboy boots mm -hmm. and their Wrangler jeans and their flannel shirt. Never touched hay or straw. But then, like, they have, like, an iPhone and they drive, like, a... I don't know, like, some type of, like, Ford Mustang or something. Mm -hmm. like A Kia Sorento. Like, dude, you can't be country and have an iPhone and drive, like, a 2014 Ford Mustang. If you want to be country, you don't have a cell phone, and you drive, like, a 1975 Ford pickup truck. You're friends with, with Willie Nelson, and... Yeah. I don't get it, man. Can't have it both ways. You can't oh. be country and live in the modern world. It's a third world country. So, yeah. That's what we give them. So, yeah. Taking horses, you know, to the roads, and then we're going to give them liquids because they need liquids to survive. I forgot to plug this phone in. Is it dead? Probably getting close. All right, well, we're yeah. wrapping it up anyway. Hey, that's the uh, best time for it to happen is with battery death. Okay. All right, guys, nerdshed.net. Don't forget, like us on Facebook and Ooh, Instagram. And nerdshed.net. Don't forget. Yeah, I know. I'm a poet. Oh. And, and I do Ed know it. Edgar Allan poet. Church. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So uh, go look at our shit. Thanks, guys. We'll be back next week. And if not, hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the Nerd Shed this week. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune back in next week for more random shit.